the Midland Civic Arena is our location as we welcome you to H.H. Dow High School, Midland High Chemics. It is high school hockey on MPS TV. Alongside Northwood coach Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. This is round number two between the Chargers and the Chemics. Last time they met in early December, it was an overtime thriller. Both coaches and the fans here tonight expecting the same thing in round two. Well, absolutely. Uh, a lot of the goaltenders played a big part in that, that overtime thriller. So tonight, it's going to see you know who's more aggressive early because I think the first five ten minutes is going to tell the tale tonight. Absolutely. Who and which goaltender will be red hot tonight? Will they both be red hot? That's going to be the question that we're going to have answered. Uh, Luke Busa for the Midland High Chemics. He is a junior in goal. He played very well when they played back in December. Meanwhile, on the other side, the Dow High Charger sophomore Colin Lemansky. He has been red hot. A couple of shutouts on the season as a sophomore. Lemansky has kind of taken this Dow High team and he says I'll protect you you do your job and score goals I'll keep the other team out of the net yeah and I think it's important for Lemansky to stay in the game because the more shots he's facing the, the the more he's actually tuned in and dialed in so if Midland High can pepper him with some shots expect Lemansky to step up to the task too there's some little guys getting ready to uh, take the ice for the uh, Midland High Chemex. Let's talk about Midland High, who comes into this game with the 5-8-0-3 record. They are 2-3 in the Saginaw Valley, and this is a Midland High team under coach Steve Witt that he is still waiting for three solid periods of hockey. Well, I think that's every coach's dream, believe me. I mean, we preach 20 minutes at the college level. They're preaching, you know, that same thing here. But I think the biggest thing with Midland High is that they got to show up on time and they gotta, they got to show you know, the, the need and desire to compete right out of the gate. And if they can engage in this thing and, and, and skate well, we'll have a good game. Now, one of the things that Midland High have this time around they did not have in the first meeting happens to be Kenny Babinski. And, you know, Mr. Kimmick there, Bobby Lanning, he's going to be cheering for Babinski when he takes the ice. Well, actually, uh, we got Kenny's little brother coming right, in. Right, Matt, Matt Babinski. Matt Babinski. Uh, I knew I'd say Kenny, but I thought he'd be I later know. on in the game. But I'm Matt Babinski. Kenny is in town <laughs> uh, working right now, so I'm sure he's in the in the stands watching this one. But yeah, Matt Babinski, what a great uh, you know what a great pickup for Coach Witt and the rest of the Chemex. Not only is he a great hockey player, but he's a great kid with a great locker room presence. Just really elevates everybody else around him. On the Dow High side of the thing, the Chargers coming in, ranked number nine in Division Three. They are 15 and two, only two losses on the season. And the uh, you know this is a, a Dow High team. They lost to South Lion. Dick Blazy didn't have a problem with that game. They lost to Alpine. He was a little disappointed in that. But since that time, the Dow High Chargers have rebounded since that loss to Alpina, and this is a very strong Charger team. Well, absolutely. I, th I think, you know, they, they too can be Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, so to speak, because when they're hitting on all cylinders, they are one of the top teams in the state in their division. And, and I think that's what Coach Blazy is looking for them is to, to get that consistency, start rolling high. You walk into a game against Alpena, you're expected to win by big numbers. You get a goalie that's hot. Right. And what happens is now you got yourself a game. Yeah, and the question is going to be, you know, the coach's son, Luke Blazy, can he score for the Dow High Chargers. Could he set the pace along with Luke Churchfield and a couple of other players? That may be an issue tonight. Well, exactly. I mean, Steve Witt being the home team here, he's going to be able to line match a little bit. So he's going to put his best players out against these guys. But, you know, more often than not, you can't get that line match the way you want. So we'll see who's hot and who's not. Now we are just about set to go with high school hockey here on MPS TV. The Midland High Chemex wearing their uh, black uniforms, blue and gold on the arms and legs. The Dow High Chargers will be in the white uniforms with their green and gold trim. All right, now let's turn things over to the public address announcer, Boomer Jordan Gonder, with the PA work. I can still identify all types of volcanoes, different types of rocks, sediments, and minerals. Ethan added, he's always making everyone smile and is trying his hardest every day. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round, warm, warm round of applause to Mr. Joel McCusco. It just sounds real epic, I'm scared to get that loud. And now, and, and now, now it's time for your starting lineups. First, the starting lineup for the visiting Dow High School Chargers. On defense, number 88, Austin Yeiter. On defense, number 21, Ryan Stottlemyre. 
At forward, number 96, Luke Blazy. At forward, number 98, Bill Van Sumeren. At forward, number 82, Alec Newton. And in goal, number 35, Colin Lemansky. The Chargers are coached by Dick Blazy. And now, joined by the eight under North Stars, the starting lineup for your Midland High School Kibbets. Joined by Franklin Lundberg on defense, number 20, Alec Albrecht. Joined by Carson DeRocher on defense, number 10, Nathan Whit. Joined by Jack DeRocher at right wing number six, Tyler Pritchett. Joined by Kendrick Finney at left wing number 25, Matthew Witt. Joined by Jackson Bablitz at center, number two, Matthew Bobinski. And joined by Melanie Sherwin in goal, between the pipes, number 35, Luke Booza. The Chemics are coached by Steve Witt, assistant coach Chad Sumanson, Nick Mammel, and Billy Barnett. The athletic director is Mr. Eric Albright. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask this signing to please rise, remove your caps, turn your attention to the west end of the arena, and join senior at Midland High and member of the Meisters singers, Sydney Lewandowski, as she honors America with our national anthem. Oh, say can you see But so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gay. but a tremendous job of our national anthem as we get ready to go with uh, high school hockey here on MPF TV. Jason Harper, Mike Vesta, a great crew of MCTV staff and volunteers bringing you this game in high definition on YouTube. We have got eight cameras bringing you the action. That may be a all-time high here at the, uh, the Civic Arena, so uh, we're not going to miss a thing, Vesta. Eight cameras, that's awesome, guys. Way to get the volunteers out to help out. But, yeah, an exciting time. I mean, coming off that overtime thriller, both teams looking to, you know, sharpen up their game going into the end of the season here. Let's get her going. Well, you'd think momentum may be on the side of the Chargers. They won in overtime the first time these two teams met. The, the Chargers ranked number nine in Division Three. What are the keys? What does Dow High have to do tonight? Well, Dow High just basically has to put puck on net after puck on net after puck on net. 
I think they're going to have the scoring opportunities, but Buza is going to have to be sharp reading the cross passes. But I think what uh, Dow High, their, their game is score goals, and that's uh, what I expect them to do today. On the other side, Midland High, what do the Kimmicks have to do to pull off the victory? Well, they got to play from their goalie out. They got to play good defense. They got to take care of, they got to take advantage of all the opportunities presented to them. The Chargers winning the face off. Dow High will be going right to left on the television screen. They're wearing the white uniforms, green and gold. Midland with black and the blue and gold armbands. Chargers working in the corner. We are underway with the Midland High Kimmicks, the Dow High Chargers, the second meeting and the final meeting of the season. These two teams will be in different uh, divisions come regional time at the end of February. Kimmick's trying to clear it out. The Dow High Chargers opening line, Ryan Steidelmeyer along with Alec Newton, Austin Yider, Luke Lazy, and Billy Van Sumeren. Cowan Lemansky in net for Dow Midland countering with Matt Babinski, Tyler Pritchett, Nathan Witt, Alec Albrecht, Matt Witt, and Luke Buffo working in goal. Chargers making the first line change of the game as Dow High's Cam Patty, the junior, sends it down, looking for Lucas Churchfield, the senior that comes in to head up the second line for the Chargers. Puck at center ice, Churchfield working it down for the Dow High Chargers. Kept in nicely by Charlie Johnson, but now the Midland High Kimmicks on the break. Isaac Daniel working on the right-hand side. Daniel trying to center it up. He was looking across the middle for Gavin Moe, could not do it. And the Midland High Kimmicks will have to go back into neutral life to try to get back on the offensive side of things. Now the Chargers working on the side. Trying to come from the left-hand side of goalie Luke Bufa. Cleared out, that will give the Kimmicks a chance for a line change. Chargers dropping down into neutral life, and Churchfield will fit it down to the Midland zone so the Chargers can answer the line change. Yeah, Daha right now just keeping the, the puck in their attacking zone. Who's it coming up with a big slave? Defense a little lax, getting back. One on goalie, good opportunity for Dow High. Good save Booz out of the shoot. Yeah, first real quality uh, shot on goal of the game coming from Austin Sofer, the junior. Just underway, we played just under two minutes of this contest. Face off will be to the left hand side of Bufa. And the Kimmicks will come away with the puck to try to clear it out. Kimmicks have had one attempt down in the down high zone. Now the puck in neutral lines and being kept in nicely by Austin Geider. He'll drop it back down, Midland High, sending Alec Albright over to Batwood. Albright looking to clear it out to Cam Gardner. Gardner goes into neutral life, and Midland High Kimmick will drop it down in the Dow High zone. Chargers chasing with Caden Crit. He's a sophomore. The Dow High team, a lot of sophomores, they get a lot of quality playing time for Dick Blazing. Yeah, and they're all they're all very talented, so they're gonna be a good team here for years to come. They're not, I mean, they're graduating a very good senior class, but they got a lot of shoes, stepping right up to fill them. Kimmick looking to go on to the blue line. Tyler Pritchett centers it up and the shot on goal by Midland. Save made by Lemansky. Each team with one quality shot on goal in the early portion of the contest. Again, so much of a hockey game that he played between the blue lines in that neutral ice zone. What does each team have to do in order to uh, control the pace when that puck is in that neutral zone? Well, the biggest thing is don't turn the puck over. You know, keep control of the puck, get into your tacking zone. Nothing worse than back checking and giving odd man rushes from the neutral zone. Good hit in front of the Kimmick fans. Gave them something to cheer about. Charger Michael Call keeping the puck in play from his defensive position. Working into the net, Midland High will now come out. Looking to move across the blue line, led by Matt Babinski. Babinski's gonna skate it in, try to backhand it in, but the shot off net. Babinski will keep it in play for the Midland High Kimmicks. Now the Chargers will come back the other way. Babinski getting a good hit in the board of the puck ends up going out of play, stopping the clock with 13-14 to play here in the first period. Yeah, Babinski getting a good one-on-one uh, -on -one attack there, but Dow High standing up to the task. You know when Babinski's on the ice, Tyler Pritchett with 
You know, they're going to they're gonna garner a lot of good down high tension, just like you saw there. Babinski having to take a uh, bad angle backhand. Face off to go to the right hand side of Lemansky, but the Chargers coming away with the face off. Billy Van Coomer, and he'll play very well as a sophomore. Now it's going to be Cam Patty that keeps it down in the Midland zone for the Chargers, but down high was off, so they have to tag back up. That gives the Kemmich a chance to come away with the puck. Some nice stick up there by Kevin Moe. we Mo. talked about in the neutral zone. Yeah, and it led to a shot on goal by Brian Pomeranke. He's the older of the Pomeranke twins. Midland High now coming across the blue line. Gavin Moe dumping it behind Lemansky. Into the corner. Very curious, Bessie, to see the uh, physicality of this contest. Right now, neither team really going for the hard checks into the board. Yeah, it's similar to the first time. You know, everybody's feeling each other out. Nobody wants to take that first penalty. It just, uh, somebody's got to ignite this crowd, come up with a big hit. But right now, both teams just kind of feeling each other out, trying to keep the puck out of their zone and in their attacking zone. On that uh, first game, that overtime game, it was a penalty by Midland that gave the Chargers a power play that led to Blazy's power play goal in overtime that gave the Chargers the victory. Yeah, discipline is also, an, uh, you know, something that's going to play a part tonight. Either you're going to have it or you're not. Charlie Johnson working for the down high Chargers. Midland High looking to keep it in at the bottom of the screen, but Dow High does clear it. Icing is waved off, but Midland's going to retrieve the puck with Braylon Laverty. He's a sophomore for the Kimmicks. Midland High works into the neutral ice, trying to dump it back. Tanner Squires, he's a junior, was wrestling for that puck against the Charger defenders. No score in the early portion of the Kimmicks and the Chargers. Puck ends up in neutral light as Matt Babinski looks to keep it in. Now across the blue line, Pritchett taking the shot, deflected up and off the glass. Yeah, Midland Guys is going to have to keep taking those outer shots, but they've got to follow it up with some odd men. Rush is trying to attack the net. Right now, how Dahau's defense doing a good job of keeping Midland out. Midland High doing a good job there, getting in front of Lemansky, trying to block his view. Yeah, Pritchard doing a good job down low, getting the tip redirect. But Lemansky there to make save. Now Babinski will have the puck on the right-hand side. Skates then takes a shot, and Lemansky comes up with the save. Yep, good little move by Babinski out of the corner. Defense fell for the fake. Babinski comes in, good shot on net. That's another big save by Lemansky. Kimmich Chargers High School Hockey on MPS TV. Busy weekend of high school sports, hockey and basketball coming your way as rivalry week is in full force here for the Midland Public Schools. Foot race is on, Billy Van Coomeran trying to get to it and uh, cannot icing will be called. Yeah, Dow High doing a pretty good job on the faceoffs right now. Midland High is going to have to try to sneak a few more of these draws out. They want to be competitive in the attacking zone. Number one line coming right back out. Colin Lemansky, the goaltender for the Dow High Chargers, had a big shutout in a game against Lapeer a couple of weeks ago. As a sophomore, he has been very good. Babinski trying to win that face off to go for a quick shot, but the Chargers will come away. Now Babinski looking to keep it in play but uh, cannot do it. Luke Lacey, who's been relatively quiet in the first seven minutes of this game, will dump it down the ice. Looking for Billy Van Coomer in the shot, rebound. Busa coming up with a couple of big saves for Midland. In neutral ice, off the Niter will dump it back down for the Dow High Chargers. The battle in the corner. One by Midland, referee gets in the way. And take it down. Yeah. Well, he kind of deserved it. <laughs> yeah, he's got to back out of that corner. Clock at 9.50 here in the first period. Cleared out and icing will be called. High School Hockey on MPF TV. We can be found on the uh, Charter Spectrum Channels 188 to 191. We're also available 
on Channel 99 on AT&T Uverse, and you can also check out the action on the Midland Public Schools YouTube page or head to midlandpf.org for more information. Many a way that you can find the broadcast of high school hockey here on MCTV and MPF TV. Now high with another big draw. Pays off one by the Chargers. Michael Call thought about the shot, now winding up with Cam Patty. He's unable to complete. Lucas Churchfield will put a shot in. Bufa spins around to make that save, kept in play by Dow. Charlie Johnson will dump it down into the corner of the Kimmix, attempting to come away to clear that puck. Who's going to come out with it? In the corner, Midland High eventually does as Isaac Daniel will look to uh, clear it across center ice. Not for long. Chargers coming back. Churchfield takes it across the blue line. He's got three players on him. Oh, we got a tripping coming up. And we've got a penalty coming up. The first penalty of the game. Stopping the clock at the 8.59 mark. Yeah, look at Churchfield. Uh, really improved on his speed during the offseason and coming into this season this fall when he was focusing on uh, playing hockey instead of football or another sport. So he had a little burst of speed there. Drew the trip. Uh, Ethan Snotty, the junior, he is the older of the Snotty brothers that play for the Midland High Chem Exit. So tripping called on Ethan, the junior, and he goes into the penalty box giving the Chargers the first power play of the game. Well, we'll see what uh, Dow High can come up with. We'll see if patience prevails or. Chargers can be very dangerous on the power play. The officials having a uh, short conference. Not exactly sure why, but. Face off ends up going into the corner. The Midland High Chemex trying to clear it. As the Chargers work the power play, they won the first game in overtime thanks to a power play, and Midland High does clear it early on. Kimmick's not bad on the power kill. They need a strong one here to start the game. Trying to go across with Alec Newton. Now the Chargers will have to get back on side before they can skate. 30 seconds into the power play. Millen High wanted an offside call. Did not get it from the officials. Chargers trying to center it up. And the I believe the net came off. So that is what the stoppage was. Well, let's see if it stays inside or... And Valhai is the one that knocked it off. It looks like it's going to stay inside, so Midland High knocked off the goal. 8.19 to play here in the first period. Oh, we've got uh, some upper deck crowd getting testy, getting the warning from the referee. Uh, they, uh, they weren't happy about uh, the offside call. Neither was Steve Wedd, and one of the officials going over to uh, explain it to Witt. Uh, the oh. officials in the stands thought it was uh, offside. On the Midland High side. Right. Van Sumeren with a good shot save made by Busa. If Luke Busa is hot, Midland High could have good things happen. Oh, but there, door. the rebound and the goal by the Dow High Chargers. Busa made the kick save, but the Chargers in perfect position for the rebound and the Chargers able to strike with the power play goal. Keep in mind that puck never did come back outside of the defensive zone. So watch, watch the, uh, the setup from the point. Nice shot on net and watch where we're standing. Nobody's covering the guy right in the back door. Standing all alone, Booza didn't have a chance. Who ended up getting that? Was that, that Pom Ranky? I'm not sure, we'll wait to find out. But perfect positioning behind the defender. Booza had no chance. So the Dow High Chargers with a one to nothing lead. It was Alec Newton yep, Alex that Newton. comes away with the power play goal for the Dow High Chargers and uh, in great position, got that rebound. That snuck in behind the defender, great back door. That uh, offsides call or no call, which we, we have no idea, but uh, loomed large. Well, we will wait to get uh, the rest of the information on the goal, but we do know Alec Newton able to put the Chargers on board to begin this contest. Now the Midland High Kimmick will work Tanner Sawyer into the corner, trying to center it up. Looking in the middle, Midland High will keep the puck, and again, the net coming off the base. 
Yeah, it looks like Dow High put the net off so the play will stay in zone. But uh, yeah, that, that, that definitely, uh, that power play of the Chargers. Great positioning, great timing. Wide open back door, easy open net. And we'll start early halfway through the first period. This is where we find out if Midland High can answer or if they get down on themselves. The, yeah. the mental part of the game can often be the most important part of the game. Yep, they need to come up with some quality shots. Even if they don't score, they need to be right back in this game. Puck in neutral ice, but a good hard hit directly below us as Midland comes away with the puck. Brady Penwar, the sophomore, working it into the corner. Both teams relatively healthy halfway through the hockey season, actually more about two-thirds of the way through the hockey season. Midland High playing without Brendan Singer. He had an arm injury early on. I believe the first game of the year, Singer was injured, so he is not available, but everybody else pretty much uh, on tap for both teams. And that's what you like, healthy going into the postseason. Ben Haney with the puck briefly for the Midland High Kimmich. The Kimmich will dump it in order to go for a line change, but the Chargers looking to take advantage of it. Churchfield with a shot, and Bufa comes up with the save. Yeah, Churchfield showing that burst of speed. You get Churchfield an open eye, but he can be a very dangerous individual. Coming across the center of the ice. Dow High looking to drop it back in. Puck comes free. Now sent back in the opposite direction and down to the far end where we'll see Dow High come away with the puck. Just under six minutes to go here in the opening period. Chargers with a one to nothing lead. Churchfield across the blue line. Long shot goes wide of the net. May have been looking for Cam Paddy on a fast break. Chargers keeping it in play. And a long shot by Dow High Austin Yider looking maybe for a rebound. Churchfield is down there. Kimmich's defense having a little bit of trouble in the last couple of minutes of clearing the puck. And when they do clear it, it's a turnover at the center ice, and it goes right back in at him. Working down into the corner, Chargers coming away with the puck, and a shot that nearly deflected into the side of the goal, and Buzo's going to cover the puck up to try to regroup for the Kimmich. Yeah, that definitely was a well-needed whistle. Buzo doing a good job slowing things down, regroup. You know, get your lines changed so you got some fresh legs out there. Maybe a little concern from some of the Kimmich fans as Dow High looking to work on their one nothing lead and a lot of the action have been down into that Midland High zone. Yeah, so Midland High's got to do a better job getting out of their zone and attack the, uh, the forward with, with some speed and they haven't been able to do that. Chargers won the face off. That shot blocked by a defenseman from behind may have played a factor in the velocity of the shot. Puck does go into neutral life for the Chargers there to clear it as Van Sumeren will drop it down. Midland looking to get something going offensively. If they work across center eyes, I believe that's Nolan Sanders that was working the puck with the Chargers coming away. No, Midland is going to keep it. And a shot that doesn't quite make it to Lemansky. Lemansky's only had to face one quality shot so far in the first period. Yeah, Midland High shooting from the outer edge, which is which is fine to get shots on net, but you got to do a better job of getting your second and third forwards into the attacking zone out front and try to get some rebounds. Coverage of this game being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer and work on programs such as this one or maybe create your own program, whatever you may want to be, edit. All you have to do is uh, become an MCTV volunteer and your show can be on YouTube in high definition as well as the variety of MCTV channels. We'll tell you how you can become an MCTV volunteer momentarily. Right now, Chargers with a great open, open shot net. and wide open. I believe that was Sanders Nolan from Sanders. Soper. Yeah, Sanders from Soper. That was that that happened right off the draw. Win the draw, bang it off the boards to a streak and winger. Comes down, takes the shot, big rebound. Now Hello. watch this whole thing starts in their in their own defensive zone. They had a great break, breakout pass. But watch this pass right here. Great pass from Soper and Sanders was all by himself in a wide open side of the net. Yep, the chemist got three forwards strapped down deep off that faceoff, leading on to a three-on-two rush for Dow High. They took full advantage of it. 
Dow High with a two to nothing lead. Nolan Sanders from Soper. Midland High finding themselves behind the eight ball early with about four minutes to go. Kimmich now coming across the ice with Ethan Snotty working the puck. Snotty nailed into the corner. Good hit there by Austin Yider if they battle in the corner. Trying to come away. Who's going to come away with the, uh, the, the puck? A couple of Chargers battling against Snotty and Dow High will come back. Stoudemire, great position. He's a sophomore and he puts a shot on to Busa. And we know mentally that Luke Busa is extremely tough. But right now he needs a little help from his defense. As another shot comes in by the Chargers. This time Busa able to come away with the save. Yeah, and no rebound. So that's, that was a key thing. You know, that was a point blank range. Great save. Keeping his team with a little hope. Down two. They need the next one. Now the Chargers had an early lead in the first meeting between these two teams. And Midland High was able to come back in the second and third period to force overtime. And yeah, we'll see if the uh, Dow coach does a better job of keeping them focused for the whole three periods. 3.20 to go here in the first period of action. Again, the puck finding itself close to Buzo, trying to knock it away. Nathan Witt looking to clear it, and now the Dow High Chargers will send it back into the other direction. Not sure if the shots on goal will try to get those at the intermission, but we know that uh, it's maybe two to one, almost three to one in favor of the Dow High Chargers. Uh, that's what we talked about at the beginning of the game, that Dow High is going to want to shoot, shoot off, because they know that Booz is a great goaltender. And the more shots you get, the better your percents of getting one by him. Again, Kim McFon able to clear down. They do. They get it into neutral life for the Chargers defense. Able to send it right back down into the zone. Chargers will go for a line change. Two and a half minutes to go. Lipinski with speed. But it'll stripped away the other direction. Now Witt will try to send it back. Pritchett working the puck for the Midland High Chemics. Tyler Pritchett will let it go from the blue line. Goes right into the gut of Lemansky. Well, this number line, one line for the Chemics. They need to get some spark going. Need to make something happen in a positive way. And they end up looping the puck into the neutral zone. Kemix get back on side, but this is going to give the Chargers a chance to come up with an idea. And they have somebody open down on the far side. I believe that's Alec Newton again. Drops it back behind him. And the Midland High Kemix will look to clear out the other direction. And oh, we got a hold. Yeah, holding is going to be the call. So the first penalty of the game against the Dow High Chargers will be called. Who was that that went into the box? Was that Blazy? Was that Blazy? I think it was. I think it might have been Blazy. Didn't, didn't quite see it, so we'll wait to, to find out. But I think it was Luke Blazy that uh, took the holding penalty. We'll find out here, Vesey. Yep, see right against the boards. That might have already happened by then. So, yeah, it looks like it happened right before then where the hold took place. But let's see what the Chemics can do. It's a good shot on net by Pritchard right there, but he's got to have a supporting cast out front. Somebody's got to be screening Lemansky. Otherwise, that's just a just a, a whistle and a faceoff. Well, the, Kim, the Chargers took advantage of a power play. Let's see if the Midland High Chemics can do the same in the final 90 seconds of the opening period. Kimmich winning the face off. Nathan Witt working the puck, but ends up losing it into neutral life. And the Chargers putting a lot of pressure as Austin Geider forces Midland all the way back into the Kimmich zone. Nice defense by Geider. He's had a strong first period. Yeah, definitely pressure, pressure, and Midland High not uh, holding onto the puck. Kimmich going across the blue line. Tyler Pritchett tries to center it up, but nobody there. And again, the puck just dangling on that blue line, but it does not go across. Now it does. And the Chargers come the opposite direction. As Nolan Sanders looking to get something going. Now it's Tyler Pritchett back across the blue line for the Midland High Chemics. Goes to the far side to Nathan Witt. Now to Babinski. Babinski centers back. Haney with the puck for Midland, and Haney will fire, and Colin Lemansky comes up with the save. Yep, I mean, Lemansky saw that the whole way. Midland High finally working the puck around a little bit. 
Ben but, Haney, just a freshman on the Midland High team, getting a shot on goal. And uh, getting uh, coaches praise to be out there on the first power play. A minute left in the power play, 45 seconds left in the period, and the Chargers are going to be able to clear it down all the way to the backboards on the far end. Yeah, face -offs starting to be a pretty big key right now with the Chargers winning more, generating opportunities off the draws. Kemmick coming across the first blue line. They've got 25 seconds to work here in the first period. Pritchett skates it across for Millen. He fires for the shot is high and goes off the netting, stopping the clock. 17 seconds, 18 seconds to go. Yeah, what you, what you start happening when you're pressing like this too is you start to do you know a little bit too much. Instead of you know getting in the zone, set up, work the puck around, try to find those good angle shots. Right now we got guys that are just trying to you know, will their team back into this thing. Well, the Chargers have had the momentum most of the first period, and they win that faceoff that may kill most of the uh, the first period. Millen High will have to make a run. They've got 10 seconds to go in the first period, but the Dow High Chargers may not let them do anything, and the clock is going to run out with Midland High unable to uh, get that power play in. They'll have 15 seconds to work with when the second period begins, but Vezzi, after the first 17 minutes of this game, it's the Dow High Chargers to have the momentum and the Dow High Chargers to have a 2 to nothing lead. Yeah, and I think the, the, the Dow High Chargers are playing their game. They are protecting their keeper, so Midland High is not getting second chance opportunities. They're breaking out great, getting those long hits, and essentially getting pucks on net. The first period coming to an end. Alec Newton with a power play goal, and then Nolan Sanders with the second goal of the game, and the Dow High Chargers have the lead. We'll take a quick break, come back, period number two, right around the corner. Chargers leading the Chemex two to nothing. You're watching High School Hockey on MPF TV. Midland Civic Arena High School Hockey on MPF TV. Jason Harper, Mike Vesta, and a great crew of MCTV staff and volunteers bringing you this contest. Midland High had 15 seconds on the power play. That power play is now done. The Dow High Chargers are at full strength of the second period. If off and running, Chargers leading two to nothing over the Midland High Chemics. Alex Newton with a power play goal in the first period, and Nolan Sanders with a goal as well. And, you know, Belsey, that intermission is always a uh, chance for the coaching staff to uh, say what they have to say. If you're Dick Blasey, who's in the middle of the coaches there for the Dow High Chargers, you got to be pretty pleased. What was your talk like? I would say, you know, play the course. They, they protected their goal goalkeeper. They got the puck up the boards, and they attacked the zone with, with speed. Perfect period. Dow High out shot Midland 11 to 6 in the first period, outscoring them 2 to nothing. And the Dow High Chargers looking to come up with something here in the second period. If you're Steve Witt in the Midland High Kimmick, what did you talk about in uh, the locker room? Well, first off, they didn't protect the goalie very well. A lot of Dow Chargers got in behind the defense, which uh, made Booza have no chance. But more importantly, they've got to get some passion rolling, and they've got to start getting some more shots on net. Ryan Stadelmeyer had a decent shot there, went wide of the net for the Dow High Chargers. Stadelmeyer got the puck again, looks to center it up right in front of the net, and Tyler Pritchard tries to clear it, can't do it. Dow High thought Austin Geiger looking to keep it in play. Now Alec Newton working behind, centers it up right there, and the rebound and a backhand save made by Booza. Luke Blay, or excuse me, Billy Van Sumeren had a great charge into that corner, and that backhand attempt, but Booza comes up with the save. Yeah, Booza having to make the big save because, again, Dow High is getting in behind the Midland High defenders. So, you know, Midland High's got to protect the keeper a little better here. 
No, clear that puck. Get into the corner. Too many second chance opportunities. Charger winning the face off as they have done most of the night. Michael Call getting a nice shot in and a kick save made by Bufa. Now Churchfield will field it back the other direction. Nice job defensively by Dow High. I believe that was Ryan Pomeranke keeping him everything in play. Now the Chargers Cam Patty tried to finish it up. Knocked away by the Midland High Kim Infant. Midland needs to clear it to regroup, but they can't do it. Now they do. They finally get the puck into neutral ice. Charger leading two to nothing and looking strong here in the second period of the game. Midland High, Tanner Squire will try to clear it out. Kept in play by the Chargers. Now drop back down. Neither team really playing physical in the first period. Wonder if that will uh, stay the course the remainder of the game. Chargers got a breakaway. Churchfield with a shot. And Buza comes up with the save. Yeah, I mean, Midland High is not keeping the puck in their attacking zone very long. Down High again doing a great job clearing it. But Churchfield's skating up the left side. Nice slapper, but who's is going to make that save more times than not? Pace off will be to the right of Luke Bufa. Pace 11 shots in the first period, saved nine of them. Cowan Lemansky on the other side of the Down High Chargers, saving all six of the shots that he faced in the first period of the game. Centering it up for the Dow High Chargers. Miles Trump had an opportunity, but it was knocked away. Now Trump goes and able to block a Midland High gimmick against the Charger board. Midland High working Nathan Whitcomb across the blue line. Whit trying to find somebody to center it up. Whit cannot find Ben Haney, and the puck goes all the way down to Bufa makes the save. Nathan Whit is the nephew of Midland coach Steve Whit. Deep son Matt is a sophomore that is also on the Midland High team. And daughter Emily is the team manager. So the Witt have a family affair every time they take the ice. Backhand attempt there was blocked by the net itself. Midland High. Into neutral light, not for long. Chargers coming back in that other direction. This time, Stadelmeyer looks to center it up and knocked away defensively by Midland's Alec Albrecht. 13.30 to go in the second period of play. Dow leading two to nothing. Dow won the first meeting in overtime. This will be the final meeting of the year. Dow High will play in Division Three come regional. Midland is up in Division One. Trying to swing it around with Billy Van Cooperen, could not do it, and now the puck will go all the way down to the far side, giving the team the chance to make a line change. Yeah, second period, you got that long change, so you got to take advantage of it when you can change, so you don't get trapped out there for a couple minutes. Nice job high. there, scoring chance, backhand attempt, and Lamansky able to come up with a couple of saves. Midland had that puck right there in front of the net, but could not do anything with it. A couple of backhands by Tyler Pritchett, but he just could not get much mustard on it. Let's take a look, Bessie. Yeah, well, Tyler Pritchett has more time than he thinks right here because he's just so used to Dow High playing so, so fast pace. But I mean, throw it on the net, see what happens. Unfortunately, he got it right in the in the glove. Nobody there. Both these Chemics sitting on the outside. They need to be screening that Lemansky and making some havoc out front. Face off to the left of Lemansky. Won by the Chargers. We don't have the numbers, but Dow High have won the majority of the face offs here tonight. Yeah, and then they're, they're doing something with it, whether it be breaking out or creating scoring opportunities. Kimmich with the puck again. Swinging around was uh, Matt Babinski and unable to complete. Kick save made by Lemansky. Well, that's what we're talking about. Bill and I have to get more pucks on that, which they are doing. And Lemansky is pushing some rebounds out there, so Bethan Heights is going to be a little quicker uh, coming in and scrapping to get some of those garbage rebounds. Saves off this time to the right-hand side of Lemansky. And, oh, and when they do win the draw, they go unlucky. Opposite direction. And a foot race down to the other end. Won by Midland if they battled their way into the corner. Cleared out. Kept in play nicely by Dow High Ryan Stadelmeyer. Yeah, Trump putting a solid game together for the sophomore. Kimmich come across. Babinski had to fight his way between two different chargers. 
Now working on the trail for the Kimmick, trying to get something going. Dylan High, Tyler Pritchett looking to keep things in play. Puck goes out of the zone into neutral right. Drop back in, I think it's gonna be the call. Yep, I mean those those center ice battles you know, really either lead to scoring opportunities for or scoring opportunities against. Here on now, you know, now High also winning the, the center ice battles. But let's see if Midland High can't win a draw and get a good breakout here. And a couple of uh, you know, scoring chances. Midland looking to build on that momentum. Dow High looking to put maybe a dagger in if they can score and make it three to nothing. Big crucial point. Of this contest, Midland High trying to do something with Gavin Moe working the puck, but the Charger attempting to clear. And Dow High does clear it. Michael Call, the sophomore, does the job. Very impressed with the sophomore class on this Dow High Charger team. Very poised. Dow High looking to skate it in. They're looking for Miles Trump across the middle. Puck is uh, loose in front. and. A whistle's going to stop play. I'm not sure Busa had that covered up. No, but referee lost sight, and uh, I agree with you. I saw right at the end. Busa trying to find it, and uh, luckily the whistle blew because Dow High guy standing right there. 11 14 to go in the second. Chargers leading 2 to nothing. Both Dow High goals came in the first period of the game. Face off. Chargers coming away with that, and a Quick snapshot, I believe that was Newton again. He had the first Dow High goal. Newton's working the puck right now for the Dow High Chargers. Feeding it over to Billy Van Sumeren. Again, the puck is loose. Van Sumeren tried to have a, come up with a shot. Booza able to make the save. Yeah, good position by Booza. Just his body being there. Uh, very close to being 3 0. All the, uh, the first lines, the Dow High Chargers, all numbers in the 80s and the 90s. wonder if that's a uh, superstition thing for Dick Lazy and the Chargers. Yeah, I know. I noticed that, uh, you know, traditionally you got your 1 through 31s, but when they when they get their own jerseys, they allow them to pick the number if they want to buy them. So. Yeah. And, and that's become the, uh, you know, there's the NHL, you got so many lower numbers being retired. That's all these guys know are the big numbers. You know, camera isn't that bad. He didn't want nothing to do with our, uh, our cameraman. Tom's working hard over uh, giving up the crowd show. Ten and a half minutes to go. Maybe she's not supposed to be here. Maybe she's going to be yeah. in trouble. That's right. Never know. Midland High just having trouble getting out of their zone right now. And now High able to keep it in play. Here we go. Let's get through the center ice with some speed. Then Haney does, and Haney skating on the left-hand side for the Midland High Kimmick, but he skated all the way into the board. Now the Kimmick trying to clear it out, and it is kept into the Dow High zone. Now it's not. Neutral ice and the Chargers taking over. When the puck hits that neutral ice, nine out of ten times tonight, Buffy Dow High ends up with the puck. Yeah, and it's getting slanted towards their attacking zone. There's a nice job defensively, Alec Newton, but the, the path for Blazy was a little bit high. Midland High coming back in the other direction. Isaac Daniel looking to skate it from coast to coast. Daniel still in control, trying to feed it towards the middle. Puck is sitting there. That the battle in front of Cowan Lemansky, and Lemansky will cover it up. Yeah, I mean, Midland High, throw it on that and see what happens right there. Lemansky couldn't get it covered. Just got to try to get more sticks on the ice, trying to get those second and third scoring opportunities. Take advantage of the breaks you're presented. A safe off to the left of Lemansky, but it's the Chargers that come away winning that face off. Newton will feed it to Van Sumeren. Van Sumeren with a shot, and Bufa making the save. Yep, once again, Bufa's going to make that, that save more times than not. 
But sometimes, you know, you need to be a little more creative, drive the net, try to do something different. A big what. look at Van Sumer. Oh, it's, this shot looks good, but realistically, you know, if he tries to drive that puck deep around and then look for a trailer, he's got a better scoring opportunity when you have a quality goaltender going against like Luzer. And the two goals that Dalhigh scored in the first period, both with an open net, at least on one side, a gut shot will not do it. Looking for a backhand, and a whistle if Luzer's knocked down. Not exactly sure what uh, what the whistle was for. Well, that's what they call crash in the net, and I think they thought that Booza had it. Let's but see. just just watch, you know, count the bodies and how many hacks and whacks the Dow High players have right now. Again, the Dow High is the closest two, but you've got two Dow High guys right there with sticks on the ice trying to put it in. That blinking knocked into Booza. That's, yeah. when, that's when the whistle came in. No. But no penalty. No, no penalty, but they did bring the face off out. But the puck doesn't stay out for long if the Chargers drop it back into that Midland High zone. Yeah, down on doing a great job of forechecking. Midland High struggling to get it out. Now they do as Babinski works it across the blue line. Nice move by Babinski, but then he loses it in the corner and the puck will end up. On net with Lemansky stopping the clock with 8.30 to go in the second period. If you would like to become an MCTV volunteer, all you have to do is give us a call at 837-3474. Sign up, become an MCTV volunteer, attend a uh, volunteer workshop, and for $45, you will have your annual access user fee. So become an MCTV volunteer. Again, that's phone number 837-3474, or you can head online the City of Midland website and find the MCTV link, or you can uh, look us up on Facebook and we'll be your friend. Midland High trying to be a little more aggressive on the court check here, and it's paying off. No, uh, that this time Tanner Squire had the puck, albeit briefly, and Dow High Chargers looking for a foot race, but it's won by Miles Trump, centers it up, looking for Austin Soper. The puck is still free, and it'll be deflected by one of the defensemen on the right-hand side. Textbook three on two for Dow High. Great scoring opportunity, even better save oh, for Booza. Had an open net because Booza's lost his stick. Now he's got a defenseman stick to work with because the goalie stick is laying inside the net. Yeah, they got Booza moving in, out, left to right. Chargers able to keep it in play, fires the shot. There's a defenseman. Tanner Squire playing without his stick because Kusa has it. In the second period, it's a long chain, so you can't get off. And we're going to have a whistle stopping play in the corner. I think the puck may have got tied up into the board, which is what uh, caused the whistle. Now if you look at the Charger bench, Now, Midland may have gotten lucky. If you're a goalkeeper, you want your own stick. You don't want to be playing with a defenseman. So. No, they're about a fourth of the size. And you saw he had to make a stick save opportunity from that shot, but it looked like Dow High uh, causing the whistle, so that's why the faceoff gets brought outside to the center ice zone. Coach Blazy did not agree with the call. I'm not sure he agreed with why there was a whistle, to be honest with you. Uh, traditionally, they want you to keep the puck play moving. Maybe an explanation be, you know, why did you blow the whistle? It looked like the puck, you know, it was in the boards and the, and the corner boards of the physical arena are sometimes difficult to get that puck out of, but I think it may have been a quick whistle. Better safe than sorry. There's a backhand attempt by Cam Patty, but Busa able to come away with the save. Babinski will clear it out for the Midland High Chemex. Passing on the far side to Tyler Bridget. Bridget gives the board and no place to go. Now we'll work it over to Tyler Snotty. Dump back in the Dow High Chargers able to come away. And Patty will dump it in for the Chargers. 640 to go. Two to nothing. Dow High backhand attempt. Scoring opportunity there by Tucker Pomeranke. That one may have been deflected by Dow High when they were trying to, to screen. Uh, yep, Uba they are there. staying off of Dow High, so they're bringing that face up outside too. But again, they're hitting Booza from every angle.
High School Hockey on MPF TV. James Carper, Mike Vesto. We've got eight cameras bringing you the action. Now High looking to complete the season sweep of the Midland High Kevin. Chargers only two losses on the season. They are currently ranked ninth in Division Three. Shot there by Newton and Bufa feeds it over to one of his teammates with Alec Albrecht. Time to figure out something to do for the Chargers keeping that puck in play. Now Midland will try to clear it out and they do forward it oh, ahead and we're going to have a tripping call as uh, Ben Haney attempted to go past the blue line. Instead he is tripped up by I believe Charlie Johnson and the now high Chargers will go in the penalty box. Chemex will have their second power play of the night. Let's take a look at that trip. Yeah, he just didn't move his feet. You know, he had him lined up for a big hit, but instead he stuck his leg out. They realized, oh, not a good idea, but the damage was done. And Charlie, he had him, he had him lined up for a pretty good hit, but with the head down, you know, so he took the safe play. Unfortunately, sticking that leg out was an easy call for the officials. Charger penalty number 16, Charlie Johnson. The two minutes high Chargers, however, coming away. Short-handed, Alec Newton skating it in. Nice pass and a shot made, Bufa. Along with the defenseman coming up with the save, Newton had a great feed to Billy Van Coomer in and a yeah, I, I, I think Nathan Witt made that save for Booza because that was a point blank pass and shot. So you know, watch Booza. He's got to play the he's got to play the shot right here. Yeah, so what's going to happen? Yep, I think Nathan. Ooh, and then off the post, but. In general, as a defenseman, you want to you want to cheat to the shooter. You got to let your goalie take that shot straight on. A beautiful short-handed attempt by the Dow High Charger. Now they're moving the faceoff out of the zone, and the referee's going to go over and explain to Dick Lacey. I'm not sure why the uh, why the faceoff would be back into the Dow High zone. Well, I'm not really sure either. The official talking to the Dow High bench, giving. Lazy and explanation. Oh, he's got a two-minute penalty. They got another penalty on oh, the... They, uh, they called a flash. They called Alec Newton for flashing. Maybe at the very end of, oh. that, of that scoring uh, attempt. Yeah, we got a few minutes maybe to catch that again and just see right at the end when when uh, Booza had it saved. Yeah, I Did think he come down and try to get the puck? That is, they, they called Newton for flashing. Right, right at the very end of that scoring attempt. Let, let's uh, quickly yeah, watch right take, at take a look at... Uh, what they ended up with, so there's the scoring the shot. chance. And, and that puck is laying there, they covered up. They called that for a flash? Oh, wow. That's what they did. They got, they got it Newton. Must have been after the whistle when he took that second. Oh, even after the whistle. I don't know about uh, that, Bessie. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy either. Midland's got a five on three advantage for the next a minute 45. Let's see what the Chemics can do with a two man advantage. Nathan Witt working the puck over to Pritchett. Now it goes back to Witt. Witt skates it over to Pritchett. Shot taken, and Lemansky comes up with the save. Yeah, Lemansky reading that all the way. You know, they got to move it back to the other side to, to maybe uh, Matthew Witt a little bit, just try to work it around because Lemansky reading that puck the whole way. A little quicker puck movement, quicker shot. Nonetheless, Chemex got it in their attacking zone, and they're keeping it there. A minute 20 to go in the two-man advantage. Nathan Wood feeds it the opposite side there. Babinski taking the shot. Pritchett trying to keep it in play. Chargers able to clear it out. Five minutes to go in the second period. Just over a minute in the two-man advantage. Babinski with the puck. Babinski looking to skate it around the backside. He still has possession. As Babinski will feed it to Nathan Witt. Witt center ice and the shot deflected. Witt will get it back on the far side. Babinski shot into being blocked by a defenseman. Stadelmeyer is the one that came up with that block. Nathan Witt trying to send it in, looking for a deflection, didn't get it. 30 seconds remain in the two-man advantage. Babinski on the far side, feeds it over to Nathan Witt. Witt's going to feed it to the corner, try to give it back. A little bit of hesitation. Lemansky made one save as he swings left to right. Looking to get back into play. Some nice defense being played by the Chargers. Here's a scoring chance on the far side. Oh. Lemansky, beautiful save, goes across the net, and the Chargers able to clear it out. 
Yeah, Tyler Fritz would like to have that one back. He's got to take that top shelf. But Lemansky right there, great save. The first penalty is done. 15 seconds remain on the power play. Dow High dropping it back into that Kemmick zone, and that is going to kill the penalty as the puck goes into the net. One second remains in the power play, but what a job defensively by the Dow High Chargers escaping a five on three. Well, the Dow High defense did a great job playing that tight little triangle where they just kept Midland High at the outer edges. Midland High, you know, couldn't get much of it on. Watch the work of Colin Lemansky. Watch Tyler Pritchett here all by himself. Beautiful pass over, wide open. Lemansky coming across with a vengeance, taking all that upper angle away too. That would be the save of the game because that's two to one if that goes in. Instead, momentum switching to Dow High for a big kill. And everybody is back on the ice with three and a half minutes to go here in the second period. Kimmich trying to keep it into the zone. They do so. Good hard hit near the blue line. As the puck goes into neutral life, the Kimmich will clear it back into the uh, opposite way. Trailer, Nolan Sanders briefly had the puck. Now the Kimmich looking to go the other direction of the two on one. Brady Penwar, he's a sophomore. Had the puck briefly, now the Kimmicks will make a line change. Chargers skate across the center line, dumping it back behind Luke Buza so the Chargers can go into a line change. And the Kimmicks will try to take advantage of it. Matt Babinski across the blue line, they're gonna go coast to coast, and Babinski missing the net. Babinski finally getting to go through the center zone with some pace. Put a great move on the defender, Caden Kritz. The shot but just wide. couldn't bury it. Now Pritchett Here we trying go. to feed back in. Babinski into the net. Kimmich goal. Matt Babinski with the backhand. Tyler Pritchett with the save. And the Kimmichs are on the board here in the second period. That's huge. After not scoring on that five on three, you would think that it would swing back to Dow High momentum. But number one line on the ice, not being denied. Scrappy in the attacking zone. Bad breakout pass right there. Babinski putting it high. Or did Pritchard end up getting that backhander? Well, I thought it was Babinski. Let's so did see. I, but let's, let's. Well, we'll see if we can take a look at it again. But well, bottom so, line, bad Boomer. clear, and they put it right back on net. Nothing Lemansky could do on that one. Now, Boomer will tell us. Yeah, that's what we thought. Why would we doubt ourselves, Vesey? <laughs> exactly, that replay. So, Matt Babinski from Tyler Pritchett, and with two minutes to go in the second period, it is now a one goal game. Trying to work it down, backhand attempt by the Dow High Chargers. Churchfield trying to put it in. Yider gave him a great assist, but Luke Bufa able to cover it up, and the whistle will blow. Now, now we'll see uh, what happens to that. You know, game of momentum, Vezzi, and if the Midland High Kimmicks that may have a little bit of momentum, they're going to capitalize on the power play, but they did capitalize on that offensive attack, and it's just a one-goal game. Yeah, and Coach Witt throwing that number one line right back out there again. you got a minute 49 left in the second period. You know, that 2-2 uh, two -two sure would look nice for the Kimmicks going into second intermission. We'll see if the Chargers, what the Chargers end up doing. If they can get back to a two goal advantage 149 to go in the second period face off won by the Chargers Stadelmeyer tries to feed it towards the middle Buck unable to get close to the net nice little shot from the uh, corner by the Dow High Chargers and kept in play by Churchfield yep good for checking again by the Chargers Kemick's having a hard time getting out of their zone Yider keeps it in play this time. Off the oh, Yider tripped up tough and call. the Midland High Kimmicks are going to head to the penalty box. That would be Matthew Babinski with the trip. Went for the poke check. Missed the puck. Not the player that you want in the penalty box if you're the Midland High Kimmicks, but Matt Babinski is headed in on the tripping call and the char or hooking is what they're going to call. 
Call and, it hooking. Yeah. Okay. And the Chargers will have the power play with 124 to go in the second period. Chargers able to capitalize on the power play back in the first period of this game. And the draw. One, One by Midland High. And they're going to clear it out. Chargers behind the net looking for a place to go if they go to neutral ice. Luke Blasey bringing the puck down. Blasey's been relatively quiet. He's the leading scorer for the Dow High Chargers. Now working behind the ice. Tries to finish it up looking for a yiter, but it's deflected into neutral ice. Yep, got a little impatient there. Play wasn't there. Blasey on the far side. Working the puck for the Dow High Chargers. Blasey looking for Churchfield. Churchfield's shot will be deflected away. 30 seconds to go in the second period. Just over a minute in the Dow High power play. And the Kemets will clear it all the way down to the far side. Oh. And we've got another penalty coming. Oh, double. And we may have two penalties coming. We're going to have a slash. I think that may be the only one, but that is going to uh, take away the Dow High power play. And that is Billy uh, Van Sumeren. Yeah, Billy Van Sumeren that comes in. A little, with the little slash. aggressive on the uh, on the defensive zone. Now let's take a look. So the penalty's called right there. He's going for the trip. So we're going to play four on four. For 14.9 left in the second. So no power play for the Dow High Chargers, at least not at the present time. Alec Newton's got the puck now in a one-on-one. -on -one. Newton, is he gonna, he's going to wait for some to, teammates to come down. Maybe waited too long, and the second period will come to an end. Yep, unaware that he only had 14 seconds at the faceoff. So a one-goal game as we wrap up the second period here at the Midland Civic Arena. And the Midland High Chemics coming back with the goal scored by Matt Babinski. Tyler Pritchett able to come away with the save and the uh, the physicality picking up a little bit as well towards the end of that second period. Yeah, definitely. The emotions are starting to climb high. You know, throw the game plans out. Now it's Midland versus Dow. See who wants it more and who can put the puck in the net. Should be an exciting third period. We've got ourselves a ball game as the Chemex battle the Chargers at the end of the second period. And if Dow High 2, Midland High 1, we'll be back with period number three. You're watching High School Hockey on MPS TV. back at the Midland Civic Arena, MCTV staff and volunteers like Tom right there on your screen bringing us all the action of the Midland High Chemex and the Dow High Chargers as we get ready for the final 17 minutes of regulation. There's a look at Dick Blasey forefront in the Dow High Charger coaching staff. 17 minutes to go. We're going to start the third period four on four. Vesey as the Dow High Chargers lead Midland High two to one. Yeah, I mean Midland High making it a game right there towards the end. Great play to, to get this thing back to two to one. But you wouldn't expect anything else in terms of, you know, essentially a Midland versus Dow contest. Four right. on four, lots of ice. Let's see what happens. Exactly. There and you know this is the Olympic size rink, so there's a little bit uh, extra ice than. Uh, than what there is on the regulation side. Oh yeah, you know, you got your speed plays a factor when you get a big rink like this. So I'm curious to see how Dow High speed, you know, pans out against Midland Highs with this four on four. And we'll see what happens. The Dow High Chargers with a one goal lead. As we mentioned, it will be four on four for the next 35 seconds. 
And after that, Midland High will have themselves a power play. As the third period gets underway, Midland High keeping it in the zone, a backhand shot, and Cowan Lemansky forced to come up with the save. Shots on goal in the second period, 16 to eight in favor of the Dow High Chargers. So basically shots two to one, as well as the score two to one. And that is something before we went on the air when we talked to Dick Blasey of uh, how many shots he wanted. He said he wanted 10 to 15 shots a period. He had 11 and 16. He wanted to keep uh, you know Midland to about five to 10 shots. They've had six and eight. So in, in that uh, that way, that, that's what Dow High wants. Yeah. Yep. But, I think they wish they could have got a few more by Booza though. But they only have a one goal lead and. Now there's Dow High trying to crash towards Luke Bootha. Just five seconds remaining in the four on four. Al Newton taking a shot, but he was hit from behind. And the power play is done, or the four on four is done. Now Midland High will be on a power play for about a minute. Matt Babinski out of the box. and Yeah, I wondered if they were going to let that icing go. Babinski jumped on the ice to take the man advantage. I don't know. Did you think that was icing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they called it icing at the end. Well, I mean, the, the the pass definitely came from the Midland Chemic zone. Babinski just kind of playing like he was in college where, you know, beat the man <laughs> to the dot and you can keep on playing. Well, I wonder what the, uh, the, the junior hockey rule is. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Might be the same. <laughs> so the faceoff goes back down into the. Big faceoff win for Midland High, though. Yeah. Giving them a breakout opportunity. With a power play for the next 50 seconds, Tyler Pritchett. It was able to work across the ice for the Midland High gimmicks. But it helped. Babinski does a nice job keeping it in briefly. Now Nathan Witt will send it. I'm not sure I see urgency in the Midland High gimmicks during this power play. Well, they got to get in zone and get set up first. Tao High doing a good job of keeping them out. Doesn't have to be hard. Doesn't have to be fancy. Out of your zone. Well, let's see what they can run this time around if Babinski goes across the blue line for Midland and his shot will go to the backside of the net. Chargers looking to clear that puck out and they do. Just 10 seconds remaining in the power play for Midland High. Across center ice they work again and the Chargers out of the penalty box. We're back to Five on five, and right out of the box, the shot taken by Billy Van Sumeren off target. Chargers keeping in play behind the net. Uh, and the more you shoot on Booz and the more saves he makes, the bigger he looks to these, you know, these goal scorers for Dow High. Working in front of the Midland High student section. The crowd kind of uh, spread out here at the Civic Arena. There's some in the stands, but there's a lot of people standing around the board and a lot of people up here in the mezzanine area. Yep, watching it from all angles. Just like the eight cameras that are bringing you the action here on MPS TV. Trying to get free of the defensemen was Midland High's Isaac Daniel, but he could not and that allowed Lemansky to make the save. Yeah, De Dow defense doing a good job keeping himself between the uh, attacker and his goaltender. Coming away with basically no shot. Face off goes to the right hand side of Lemansky. And Midland winning that face off as well. Something that we did not see in the first two periods. Good hard hit in front of the Charger student section. Oh, I was wondering if they're going to call that from behind, but they did not. Another good hard hit there. That time Midland High with Ethan Snoddy tangling up with a Dow defenseman. So the physical play beginning to pick up. In this one goal game, 14 minutes to go. Towards the blue line, set him up nicely. A good job there by Charlie Johnson. Charger centers it up and the shot goes off the shoulder pad of Luke Bootha. Great scoring opportunity for Churchfield. Oh, now why do you do that? It's a whistle if you get it back. Right now, Gavin Moe is working down on the backside for the Midland High gimmicks and the puck will go into the netting. Yeah, Midland High showing a little more uh, pistol and vinegar here right now with some good forecheck and also some good hits. So the, the play staying in their attacking zone a little bit more. 
Chargers scored both of their goals in the first period. Alec Newton had a power play goal, and Nolan Fanders got in the net for Dow High. Midland's only goal came late in the second period by Matt Babinski. Again, the Kimmicks win in that faceoff, but they don't control the puck very long. Now it's the Chargers in neutral ice on the far side of the ice, looking for Van Sumeren, but it's cleared out. Kept in play, nice shot there. Bufa came up with a save. Chargers looking for that rebound, but it's cleared out by the Midland High Kimmicks. Babinski across the blue line and stood up defensively by Austin Yider. Yeah, good play by Yider right there. Babinski had the move. Now the Chargers dropping it back. Trying back. to get that backdoor pass over. Yeah, Luke Blasey trying to get something going. There's a shot taken by Stadelmeyer, but off the stick of Bufa. Kept in play by the Chargers. But now it'll be the Kimmicks able to clear it out. That was, uh, I believe that was Witt that cleared it for the Midland High Kimmicks. It was Matt Witt that did the job. 12 and a half minutes to go, and icing will be called. Well, both teams playing with a little more urgency right now. Dow High trying to get back to that two-goal lead, but Midland High trying to knot it up. You can tell a little more physical play, a little harder forecheck, and, uh, and a better job clearing out of their defensive zones. Midland-Dow rivalry week here on MPS TV. Hockey and both girls and boys basketball coming your way this weekend. Nice job there by the Midland High Chemex. Centering it up was Ben Haney, but there was nobody there to take that pass, and the Chargers come back the other direction. And we've got a... Another icing. Whistle. Icing is going to be the call. Yeah, Dow High defender doing a great job covering Laverty out front with him not even being able to get his stick free enough to get a shot on Lemansky. Dow High, you could tell earlier on, these were going as breakout passes and they were getting good scoring opportunities. You know, the last few, they've just been basically icings coming right back down into the defensive zone. So Midland High stepped up their pace and, uh, and, and getting rewarded for it. Just a one goal game and very reminiscent of their meeting back in December. Dow had the lead, Midland came back to force overtime and the Chargers won on a power play goal in overtime. That was back in December. Here, Dow High has a two to one lead. 12 minutes to go, and Bufa will make the save. Yeah, good back up and forth. You know what you expect to see from these two teams, what we expected to see all game. But finally, third period here, we got some great up and down action going on. Both teams coming up with some scoring opportunities. Both teams making a line change. Face off to the right-hand side. Of Bufa, Chargers winning it. Austin Yider keeping it in play. Now feeding over towards the corner. Works it out to the backside of the net. Babinski will come away with it for the Midland High Kimmicks. Babinski clears it out, but into the awaiting uh, stick of Ryan Stadelmeyer, who drops it back into the zone. Cleared out into neutral ice again. Yider. Feeds over and a little soft pass that goes across the ice. So the teams look to regroup. 11 15 to go in regulation. Battle in the corner. Who comes away with it? The Chargers will keep it in play. Geider was feeding, looking for a church field, and now the Midland High Kimmicks will try to get it out of the zone. They do so, and they will send all the way down. Icing waved off. But the Dow High Chargers will send it back into the other direction. Stopped by Midland right in front of the Akemic bench. Witt has the puck knocked away. Stadelmeyer will drop it in for the Dow High Chargers. Again, working behind the net. Midland clears it. And Midland High Cam Gardner will attempt to go, but offsides will be called, stopping the clock at 10.31. Well, if you want to see all the new ways that you can share your story with MCTV, you can create your own TV show, put videos on YouTube, promote your programs on social media, and even create an audio podcast 
to reach a whole new audience. To learn more how you can become an MCTV volunteer, call 837-3474 or head online to the City of Midland website. Action back underway with 10.20 to go. And the Midland High Chemics, Gardner, trying to get that puck behind the Dow High goal. But the Chargers will clear it out. Breakaway opportunity for the Chargers. Midland trying to work the board. At least that's what Snotty was attempting to do. Can't do it. And now the Dow High Chargers looking to set up their play. The puck kind of running loose right in the middle of the of the net, Alec Newton will come away with it. His shot doesn't get to it, but the rebound shot does, and a whistle is gonna stop play. A couple of strong shots, and right, right now, uh, Luke Bufa maintains that one goal difference. Yeah, another good scoring opportunity by Dow High. But watch how, you know, Booza just good positioning. Right there, seeing everything. You know, Midland High, see how there's no Dow High defenders between there. So def the Midland High defense definitely stepping up, keeping the Dow High scorers farther out. Booz has seen it, making the big save, getting the whistle. No second chance opportunity. Midland High comes away with the puck to set up their offensive play. Nathan Wett will feed the interception to Austin Soper. Soper's backhand is stopped by Booza. Yeah, dangerous pass there by Witt, but uh, Booza bails him out, gets yeah, the whistle. Yeah, I didn't see who came away with the steal, but Soper did his best to take advantage of it. Yeah, right here, the, yep, you're just watching the, the, the save here. I think you it was know, really Sanders. Bad. Sanders had the steal, and Soper had the shot, Booza had the save. Now the Chargers trying to clear it out, but Babinski will keep it in play. Now Dowhai goes to neutral life before Tanner Squire steals the puck away. Three on two opportunity. Babinski takes the shot and Lemansky makes the save. Yep, if we get that shot a little lower, you get a bit more of a rebound chance, but right in the bread basket, Lemansky just hangs on to it. You go low or you go high and you might have a chance. You got Witt right down there. See Witt right here breaking for the net. If that go, pucks goes a little lower, you might get a rebound out. Second, uh, second chances. Two to one is where we stand score-wise. Face off. One by the Chargers, and they've got a breakaway opportunity of Churchfield looking to feed the puck, but a slightly behind his teammate. But now Midland High will have the attempt to come back in the other direction. Yeah, almost a three on two opportunity, but the puck goes in the skates. Midland doing a good job clearing. Squire had it in play. Now it's Churchfield that has a chance to go across the blue line, and the shot goes over the head of Bootha. Kept in the zone by the Dow High Chargers. Now Midland High again will try to clear it around the board. But they uh, they, they do it this time into neutral ice. Tough vantage point for our cameras and for Vezzi and I when they battle right along the boards in front of us. Midland High on a line change, but looking to go maybe coast to coast to, to get something going is Tanner Squires, but he ends up back up against the board by the Dow High Chargers. Dow High will drop it into the zone. 7.40 to go in the third period. Right now, neither team really having uh, momentum on their side in the third period. Now Matt Babinski will go across the blue line, has it knocked away, but following in was Matt Witt, but he can't get anything to happen, and now the Chargers try to come back the other direction. Just back and forth, these two teams battling in the third period. Matt Witt has the puck knocked away. Comes back the other direction. Luke Blasey and Tyler Pritchett meet up at center ice. They've been battling each other all night long. Haven't had a chance to talk much about Blasey, who will be 
headed to Minnesota next year to play some hockey. Yeah, good for him going into that uh, junior program the way it is. Exciting time. Tier 2 Junior A Hockey of the NAHL is where Blazey will be playing. Austin, Minnesota will be the location. I can say I have no idea where Austin, Minnesota happens to be. It's in Minnesota. I, that is true. Surrounded yep. by snow and lakes yeah. and, and cold. Right. 6.28 to go in the third period. Both of these teams gearing up for regionals. They'll be played at the end of the month. They're in different divisions. The Midland High Chemics will be playing in Division One. Midland High will start their postseason play on Wednesday, February 26th, when they take on Bay City Central. That game will be here at the Midland Civic Arena. The Dow High Chargers will have regional action down in Flint beginning that same week. Chargers for the first round bye will play Cadillac or Big Rapids in their first game. Again, that last week of February is when the regionals get underway. A little bit of a collision, and uh, they're going to call a hand pass on Midland. Regionals this year, Vezzi, spread out a little bit. One of the issues has been, you know, how tight do you, do, do you put the regionals? So they put some distance there. Let's take a look at what happened. Well, he kind of grabs the puck. See, he's got it in his hand, and then he decides to throw it away. So essentially, if he just hand passes it, play goes because it went to Dow High. But when he closes his hand on the glove, you get the whistle and the faceoff. Now Midland High had uh, one too many players on the ice prior to the faceoff, and right now both officials are talking to Steve Witt over by the Midland High bench. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure what the discussion is. Yeah, I'm not sure the, uh, I mean, obviously he held on to the puck. Yeah. The officials tonight, Chris DeLang, Tim Langschweger, Travis Hare, and even Ian Beaver are the men wearing the stripes. Whatever the conversation was, it has been completed, and we resume action in a one-goal game. Dow scored two goals in the first period. Midland scored back in the second period. Both goalies standing large today. Yeah, good performance by both goalies. Kept in play by the Midland High Chemics. If they work down into the corner, trying to come out, Chargers looking to clear. Kept in play by Midland. Good job there by Tyler Snoddy. And Dow High will come away with the puck. Down the ice goes Lucas Churchfield. Kind of dumped it in because the Chargers in the midst of a line change. Looking to crash towards the board with Ryan Pomeranke. And the puck goes up in the air, stopping the clock. Yep, Cameron Patty gets that play back. He needs to just get that puck off a little quicker. See if we can't get some more pucks on net. But I tell you what, as long as Booza stands big like this, your big goal scorers, they look at him, like I, we talked about earlier, he gets bigger and bigger, so they start trying to pick the corners. As you start picking the corners, that's why you're seeing a lot more shots going wide, going high. But I tell you what, you can't, you know, if you're a goal scorer, just keep on shooting. Chargers win the faceoff. Shot taken by Yider, nearly snuck in, bouncing towards Booza. Now Chargers behind the net to center it up. Nobody there. Tried to rush in, but could not get to it in time. And Good. the Chemics will clear it out. Midland High looking for maybe a, a bit of a break. Tyler Pritchett takes the shot, but Lemansky comes up with the save. Yep, and no rebound again. So even though you got somebody crashed in the net, Lemansky makes the saves, holds on, regroup. Let's take a look. Yeah, watch this nice tag. Got really basically nobody to pass to, so why not throw it on net and see what happens. You can't score if you don't shoot. So you might as well try to, you know, get something going, especially in a one-goal game. Yeah, if Lemansky doesn't make that save clean and it drops, you've got somebody breaking for the net. I can't say Midland High is doing a much better job 
forechecking and keeping Dow High in their zone more than they did the first half of the game. That's the reason, you know, they uh, get this thing back to a 2-1 game. Now the first period was controlled by Dow. Second period, momentum was shifting slightly towards Midland High. It's been pretty even here in the third period. Yeah, it came out with a lot of big hits, and now it's kind of like settling down. Nobody wants to take a penalty in the last five minutes. Yeah, one goal game. You don't want it decided by a power play. Kimmich keeping it in play, at least briefly. Now it is knocked away and looking for a scoring chance was Billy Van Sumeren. Van Sumeren trying to feed somebody, but the Kimmich were there to come up with a steal. Now in neutral life, Chargers need to tag up, which they do, but that gives the Kimmichs a chance for a line change with 3.20 to go in a one-goal game here at the Civic Arena. Across the ice goes Tanner Squires. Trying to make something happen, and Lemansky will cover it up. Yeah, Squires with a nice job, just kind of weaving in and out. Nobody really stepped up. When you got one on three, somebody's got to step up and just keep him at the blue line. But no, nice job by Squires, weaseling right between everybody. Right here, see, uh, you, you, you poke instead of play the body. Squires with speed, blows right through. Good scoring opportunity. Face-off goes to the right-hand side of Lemansky. And the face-off won by the Midland High Chemex, but it's not held by Midland High for long, and now we've got a hand pass that's going to be called. And that's going to send the face-off, I believe, all the way down to the opposite end. Yeah, this will be a big face-off right here, 2.52 to go. There's uh, members of the Midland High girls basketball team and girls coach Jaden Klobis watching the action. Here's the hand pass. Tough one, kind of more of a redirect, but the correct call. Of course, girls basketball and boys basketball airing this weekend in addition to the hockey broadcast. So it's a big weekend of high school sports here on MPS TV. Nice shot there by Nolan Sanders, but Buza was able to come up with the save. Yeah, rebound went out, but nobody there to put her home. Austin Soper looking for something. Behind them was Sanders. Now from the blue line, shot taken. I'm not sure who that was because uh, the jersey is all tangled up and tucked in the back. Was that? Uh, Looks like 18, John Wagner. Or was it 16, Charlie Johnson? Or was it 10, Caden Critz? Couldn't tell. <laughs> Untuck that jersey and we'll give you credit, young man. Although I'm not sure he's concerned about what his jersey looks like. No. 2.35 to go in the third period. One goal lead for the Dow High Chargers. Dow High, only two losses on the season, coming in at 15-2. Midland High, kind of an up and down season for the Midland High Kimmich. They looking to put another W in that column. Steve Wood is very high on this Midland High team, even if the record is at that 500 mark. He believes that the Kimmichs are better than what that record indicates, and a win here tonight over the Chargers would definitely go a long way in proving that. But to do that, the Kimmichs need to get into the back of the net. Tyler Pritchett goes across the blue line. Centers it up, and the Dow High Chargers are able to clear back all the way down. They're going to wave off the icing. 1.45 to go. Too early right now, Vesey, but at what point do you think about pulling Booza? Well, you, first you got to get uh, control in your attacking zone. Then you got to get it closer to a minute. They're already talking about it right now. But if Midland High cannot establish control, it's, uh, it's to no avail. But Booz is creeping right now a little bit. They got the face off in the attacking zone. Might be a good time to pull them right here. I think the Kimmicks are going to take a, well, I thought they were thinking about a timeout. And yet yep, that is exactly they're what, they're, uh, what they're going to do. So Steve Witt 
And the Midland High Chemex say now's a good time to come up with a game plan with 1.32 to go in the contest. Two to one in favor of the Dow High Chargers. This is a, a good time for that timeout. If you're Steve Witt, you need that goal. You need to be thinking about maybe forcing overtime at this point, very similar to the matchup in December. Yeah, I mean, it all comes down to face-offs, and the, the Chemex have done a much better job here in the third period, at least, uh, you know, 50-50 on the face-offs. But with a minute 33 and you've got your, your puck in the attacking zone, it might be a good time to pull your goaltender right now. But at all keys, you have to win that draw. You win Dick. that draw, you can work it around, but you've got to get shots on net. Dick Blasey talking to the Dow High Chargers. Yeah, he's saying get everything out. I don't care if you take the icing. You don't want to take the icing, get it high off the glass. But whatever it takes, no second chance opportunities. Everything out of your defending zone. Well, since the four minute mark of the first period, Dow High have been unable to get into the scoring column. Well, I mean, the, the, the first part of that first period, they had Booza going left to right. Um, since then, pretty much all the shots have been straight on. He's controlling the rebound, so they haven't had as good of quality scoring opportunities since that first half of the first. And they have indeed pulled Booza. So the Chemex have got six skaters on the ice with the faceoff. And a dangerous situation here because Dow High has won the majority of the faceoffs, but Midland High does come away. They've got a one-man advantage and a nice shot there. Rebound, and the that's going to be covered up. Not sure how they didn't get that uh, second-chance opportunity. You had Lemansky out of position. You had two Chemex right there with no Charger defenders. All right, now, let's take a look. I thought the net may have came off as well, but just throw it on the net. Be... Nice job. Now, look, that puck takes a weird bounce here. Lemansky can't find it right now. You got a couple Chemex right there just hacking and whacking, but uh, hitting Charger bodies instead of the puck. That yeah, was a great scoring chance when Lemansky lost track of it. Chemex win the face off again. Defenseman keeping that from going in. The puck is still loose and now will be sent down into the fire zone with just over a minute to go, and we've got a whistle. Another icing. Icing will put that face off again back to the right hand side of Lemansky. Chemex with the two faceoffs they needed down the stretch. Good scoring opportunities. Definitely got to get pucks on net right now. now. This is what we wanted. Excitement at the end of the game. Midland High have pulled their goalie. They've got a man advantage. And again, the Chemex win that faceoff. But Dow High coming away with the puck briefly. They battle in front and it comes away. There's a stop made by Witt for the Midland High Chemex to keep that puck out of the net. We've got 60 seconds to go. Puck in neutral ice now dropped back into the Midland High zone. There is no goalie. The Chemex are skating six men on the ice trying to force overtime. 45 seconds to go. Babinski across the blue line. Beats one man. Loses the handle on the puck. Knocked out, and the now high Chargers may have a chance to put the icing on the cake. Luke Blasey has the puck knocked away. Nice defense by Midland, 30 seconds to go. Across the blue line, Stadelmeyer will send it back the other way. Now the Chargers look at the Kimmich uh -oh, looking to regroup, uh -oh. and it comes away into the hands Billy of Van Billy Sumeran. Van Sumeran. And there's the icing, Sam Van Sumeran with the steal, and the sophomore puts it in to the net, and the Chargers Come go up two goals over Midland High. Yeah, Billy Van Sumer did a nice job. If you can watch this poke check right here on senior captain Tyler Pritchett. Once he got in, it was pretty easy. Put it home. Here we go, so Watch here, right here. A little move, a little poke check. Wide open net. Game over. Yep, tough. Tyler Pritchett puts his heart and soul into this. Trying to make a play for his Chemex. But the big Billy Van Sumer. And Good poke check and go. That yeah, was a great game plan for Midland. Pulled the goalie and they had a couple of uh, face offs that they won. But as you mentioned, the steal by Van Sumeren putting that third goal into the net for the Dow High Chargers. And now the final seconds are going to come off the clock. Dow High with the puck behind their own net, but just a few seconds left and the horn is going to sound. And the Dow High Chargers come away with the sweep. They won in overtime, the first meeting. They only needed regulation here tonight. 
as the Chargers defeat Midland High three to one. But Vesey, this is what you want in a high school hockey game. Excitement right down to the final minute of play. Oh, absolutely. This game was a game right to the end. I mean, even at 2 nothing, you could sense that Dow High was just having trouble putting Midland High away. Midland High just seemed to get more confidence, started growing. They didn't really start quick, but they ended up just carrying forward and carrying forward and persevering. And with uh, Booza giving them a chance to keep the game close, he ended up being the MVP, you know, for the Chemex today, keeping it close. Chemex, you know, good opportunity to tie this thing right in the end. Now the Dow High Chargers able to get a couple of goals early on in the game. They started the scoring off with a power play goal. But as you mentioned, that you know that ending of that game and that that final minute is what you wanted. If you're the Midland High Chemics, you had a couple of the scoring chances. If you're the Dow High Chargers, you were you know, able to keep your cool. And then you know Billy Van Sumer and doing what he needed to do. Well, absolutely great pull check, great read, you know, and just putting it in the empty netter for sure. But I tell you what. Uh, Midland High, once they got things rolling here, made it a game. Dow High came out early. They looked like the team that was a control play. But in the end, these two teams skated up and down that ice very equal. So a great action as expected here at the Midland Civic Arena. And again, this will be the final meeting of the season because these two teams in different divisions. Both teams uh, qualify for Division Three. You can play up if you want to. Midland High, for, the, for as long as I can remember, has always chosen to play up. So Midland High will play in Division One in the regionals. They will play their regionals here in Midland. Dow High will play down in Flint in Division Three. Both teams have a chance to make some waves in the postseason. Oh, absolutely. You got Midland High first skating on their own ice. It's an Olympic sheet. It's bigger. You let your speed demons do what they do best, and that's get some pace through the neutral zone, go get some scoring opportunities. And, you know, Dow High, this is one of their most, you know, most uh, strength teams, you know, top to bottom. They don't have just one or two good lines. They've got a whole string of good lines. So, you know, it, they, they win a few key games. Who knows how far they can go? Absolutely. absolutely. You never know what happens when the second season, the postseason, gets underway. Let's take a recap at uh, some of the action that we saw tonight between the Midland High Chemics and the Dow High Chargers. Dow High got the scoring started as they took advantage of a power play. Yeah, just great left to right work, back door wide open. Hard to defend, but exactly right place, right time. Puck makes it across, booze and no chance. Alex Newton got the first goal, and then it was Nolan Fander to find the back of the net. And once again, odd man rush coming in at the end. You know, got Booza going left to right, just a little too far left, not enough right. Right oh. here was the uh, critical play of the game when they went down two because of that slash call. And this is where Midland High couldn't score on the five on three but soon came back there a few minutes later to get that two to one game. Yeah, Matt Fabinski with the assist from Tyler Pritchett made it two to one, which is where we were for a long time until then. The poke check and go. Billy Van Sumeren had a great game. Just, you know, a little wide, a little high, a little low, but in the end gets the uh, the game sealer and Dow High celebrates the three one win. But there are several players that played well. Both goalies actually played a phenomenal game. Colin Lemansky only giving up one goal and you know, Luke Booth in a losing effort, nothing to you know, hang his head about, he, he played no, well. No, because early on in the first period, the Chemics really weren't in their, you know, their game mode. They weren't really you know, attacking, and he kept them in, he kept them close. And then when both teams started going back up and down the ice, you know, that's thanks because Booza kept it a two-goal game. Right, and you mentioned Billy Van Sumeren had a great game. Austin Yeider played incredibly well for the, the Dow High Chargers. A lot of players stepping up, which on a team that has a lot of talent, you want different players to step up on different nights. We saw that tonight. Well, absolutely. You know, you said we haven't heard much from Blazy tonight, but it just wasn't his night. Doesn't mean he wasn't out there grinding and everything. But, you know, you had Van Sumer stepping up, Yider stepping up. I tell you what, the second line, Soper and uh, Sanders. They played incredibly well, especially you know, early Church, in the game. Churchfield's line having a lot of good scoring opportunities. It's just, you know, when you got a tough goalie, you tend to shoot a little high, a little wide. You know, it kept it a good game. Midland High finally getting into the grooves. They just couldn't, you know, put that puck in the net to tie it up. Yeah, no doubt there's a reason that the Dow High Chargers are ranked in the top ten in Division Three, From the first line to the third line, there's a lot of talent on that ice. Absolutely, and they, they build upon it. And, you know, if one guy's having a down night, the other guy's going to pick it up. But they just keep coming at you. You know, they get it out of their zone, get it in the attacking zone. And for the Midland High gimmicks, again, you know, disappointed they will be after this game. But, again, Midland High, you know, they've got a losing record right now. But this is a team to keep an eye on, especially in the postseason. 
Well, as this game grew, so does their confidence grow because you could tell in their play. You know, that first period, you had Dow High attackers behind their defenders, you know, just hacking and whacking at Booza there. But as this game progressed, the defense, you know, they started working from their goalie out. And as they started working from their goalie out, they generated more scoring opportunities. The uh, the turnovers from the, the between the Blues, they weren't just so slanted back into Dow's attacking zone. They kind of got back and forth where the game was going back and forth. So they started winning the little battles. And that's what they need to grow on. Now the Dow High Chargers will come away with a two-goal victory for the season sweep over the Midland High Chemex. So again, this weekend, we invite you to tune in, not only to the replay of the hockey contest, but also boys and girls basketball coming your way as well. Zephi, uh, final thoughts on uh, a great night of high school hockey. Yeah, early on, it looked like Dow High was just going to be the robots that they are and just, just keep clicking control, clicking control. Midland High finally said enough's enough, dug in their heels, made it a game. Exciting to watch. It was, it was fun, and we're glad that we could share the night with you here on MPF TV. In just a couple of moments, you are going to see several names come across your television screen. If you know any of these individuals, stop them and thank them for being a part of MCTV. This game could not be produced and aired without the help of all the volunteers that you will read in just a couple of moments. For the entire crew bringing you this contest and for Mike Vesna, my name is Jason Harper. The Dow High Chargers coming away with a victory. Dow 3, Midland 1. Thank you for watching High School Hockey on MPS TV.